In this lecture, you will learn how we can work with JSON data in Node.js. For that, let's go to VS Code. And here, inside this root folder, inside this Node.js basics folder, let's go ahead and let's create a new folder and let's call it data. Inside this data folder, I'm going to create a new file and this file is going to be a JSON file and I'm going to call it products.json. And inside this file, I want to have some JSON objects. Now, in order to save some time, here I already have some JSON data. So I'll copy it from here. And let's go ahead and let's paste it inside this product.json file. So this data which you see here is a JSON data. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And JSON is a data format. Just like we have XML data format, in the same way we have this JSON data format. In the JSON data format, we store data as a JavaScript object. So here inside this JSON data, we have an array and inside that array, we have some JSON objects. So this is one JSON object. This is another JSON object. And in this way, we have total eight JSON objects in this array. All right. So each object here is an element of this array. Now a JSON object has a key value pair. So it has a property and the property name is wrapped within double quotes or single quotes and then it has a value. So here this ID is a property for this JSON object and its value is zero. In the same way, this name is the property of this JSON object and it has this value. So keep in mind that JSON is a data format where we store data like a JavaScript object. The only difference between JavaScript object and the JSON object is that in JSON object, the property name is wrapped within quotes. Now, why I am talking about this JSON data here? That's because when we create a real world application using Node.js, there we might be having a database server in the backend. And that database is most probably going to be a NoSQL non-relational database like MongoDB. And in such databases, we store data in the JSON format. So from our node application, when we will fetch some data from a NoSQL database, we will get that data as a JSON object. And then we will have to transform that JSON object into a JavaScript object in order to work with it. And that's why in this lecture, I wanted to give you a brief overview of how we can work with JSON data in Node.js. Okay, so here we have some JSON data. Now what we want is in our web application, we have this menu called products. So when I click on this products link, here it is showing 404 page not found. But now what I want is I want to create a new route for this slash products. And in that route, I want to read the JSON data from this products.json file. And I want to return that JSON data in the response. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go to app.js. And here after this else if let's write another else if. And here we are going to check if the path dot to lowercase if it is equal to slash products. If that's the case, if the user has typed root URL slash products, then what we want to do is we want to read this products.json file. For that, I'm going to use read file method on this FS module. To this read file method, we need to pass the path of the file. So here we need to go to current directory. There we have this data folder. And inside that we have this products.json file. Then as a second argument, we also need to specify the encoding. So here, let's say the encoding is UTF-8. And finally, we also need to specify a third argument, which is a callback function. And this callback function will be called when this read file method finishes reading this product.json. And this callback function is going to receive two arguments, the error argument and the actual data, which this read file method has read from this product.json file. And let's go ahead and let's simply send this data in the response. So for that here, let's say response dot end and let's send this data in the response. And before sending the response, let's also set some headers for this response. So here I will say response dot write head. So here the status code will be 200. And then for the header, I'm going to set the content type. And here, since we are sending a JSON data in the response, the content type is going to be application slash JSON. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go ahead and let's stop the server by pressing Control C and let's restart the server by running this app.js file. Let's go to the web page. 
and here let me refresh the page and now you will notice that in the response we are receiving that JSON data okay now usually when we are creating a web application there we don't send JSON data in the response there we send the HTML data in the response but when we are creating a web API in that case we send JSON data in the response now we will talk about web APIs in great detail in the coming lectures of this course but for now since we are trying to create a simple web application here instead of sending the JSON data we want to send the HTML response and in that HTML response we want to display these objects so each object in this JSON data represents a product so we want to display each of these product objects in the web page okay so basically in order to work with this JSON data which we are reading from this product.json file first we need to convert that JSON data into a JavaScript object and to do that we can use a method called json.pass and to this json.pass we can pass this JSON data and this json.pass method will pass the JavaScript object from this JSON data so here this json.pass is going to return a javascript object let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable and let's call it products all right now here with this code we have a problem and the problem is every time a user makes a request to this slash products url this read file method will go ahead and read this product.json file so this will happen for each request which the user makes for the slash products so instead of reading this products.json file for each new request we get for this route for this slash products we can read this products.json file only once we can store it in a variable and then we can use that variable for every new request in that case it will also improve the performance of our application because if we use this approach here in this approach for every new request this read file method is going to read the file so if thousand requests are made for this route for this slash products then this read file method will read this products.json file thousand times and that is not the best approach so what i'm going to do here is here where we are reading this index.html after that let's go ahead and let's create a variable let's call it products and here again i'm going to use this fs module and on that i'm going to use this read file sync method because here i only want to read this products.json file only once so in that case i can use this read file sync method there we need to pass the path of the file which we want to read so it is in root directory data folder and inside that data folder we have products.json file then the second argument will be the encoding which is utf8 so this read file sync method is going to read the data from this product.json file and it is going to return that data and we are storing that return data that json data inside this products variable now if we want to use that JSON data in our node application first we need to convert that JSON data into a JavaScript object and just now we learned that in order to convert a JSON data into JavaScript object we can use json.pass method so I'm going to pass this expression here to json.pass method so this expression here is going to return some JSON data and we are converting that JSON data we are passing that JSON data and we are creating a JavaScript object from that JSON data and we are storing that JavaScript object inside this products variable and from here from within this route I'm going to remove this line of code and also since we are only specifying one header here I'm going to move it into the same line and then we can send a response from here so let's say response dot end and for now let's simply send a text response saying that you are a product page and let's go ahead and let's log this products variable so when the user requests for root URL slash products in that case we are sending this response you are in products page and then we are also logging the products object in the console so let me move this a little bit up let's stop the server by pressing ctrl c and let's restart the server now let's go to the web page and let's make a request to this root url slash products so here we have this response you are in products page now if i go to vs code here you will notice that the products object has been logged here 
So if I scroll up, you will notice that the products object. So basically this products variable, which we are logging here, it is actually an array. And inside that array, we have these objects as its element. Let me move it a little bit up more. Let's go to this products.json. So here for the first JSON object, this is the object. And that object here has been created into a JavaScript object. So in the JSON object, we have the property names within double quotes. But in the JavaScript object, we have the property name without any double quotes. Okay, so the JSON.pass method has converted this JSON data into a JavaScript object. So inside this product.json, we have an array and inside that array, we have these JSON objects. So once it was converted to JavaScript object, there again, we have an array and inside that array, these JavaScript objects are its elements. And now, since we have converted this products.json data into a JavaScript object, now we can use that JavaScript object in our node application and we can display that data in the web page. Let's see how we can do that in our next lecture.